Hello, and today I'll be taking a look at the Gandalf the Grey figure from The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. I picked this up for quite cheap, it was about £4, they're on the shelves at the moment, so I thought I'd take a quick look, see if they're good to go on shelves, any good for customisation, and just, just basically to have them, because £4 for a figure like this, you can't miss it. So let's take a quick look at the packaging, it's quite nice, we've got this texture around the outside of here, which is a bit like a ring, slightly elvish design by the looks of it, it does show you in, in a few different other languages as well. Um, and on the back we do get a bit of the story from An Unexpected Journey and a little bit about Gandalf himself which is always nice to have on the packet. It shows you the figure there, it does look quite nice, I'm not sure about the hat, it seems to sit quite high on his head. Shows you a few other figures that are in the line, we've got Bilbo Baggins, Thorin, Grinar the Goblin I think it is and Legolas. Um, and this is made by the bridge but it's imported to the UK by Vivid so let's get this open and see if it's worth the cash and here he is out of the packaging Gandalf the Grey first impressions sculpt work looks really really nice uh, it does look like the character the hat does seem to fit on quite well not as bad as it did look in the picture so let's have a quick look at his attachments he obviously has his hat just plops on his head doesn't fit quite as snugly as you'd like as so as it flies off across the room so pop it on but you can get it on uh, and it does stay reasonably well it just can be a bit difficult to get it on then we come to his wooden staff and um, it's quite nicely detailed there does look like wood maybe could have done with a bit of a brush on top just to bring it out a few more of the highlights um, it is a little bit bent, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or not. Um, I haven't watched the film in a while. So that's the staff. Looks like it does in the film, though, regards to its sculpt. Um, then it comes with his sword. For the life of me, I can't remember what Gandalf's sword is called at all. Um, but it comes with this nice sheath. And then the actual sword itself, which is quite nicely done silver paint and then the blue paint on the bottom is done well also with a nice little bit of sculpting around the handle so that's good does he hold it quite well I think he will because he's got quite nice hands yep so he holds it perfectly fine which is good so the attachments so far look quite nice let's actually get onto the figure itself to see how it's sculpted um, and the sculpt work is very nice and the paint on it also on the head is done very very well all the details in there there is a little bit of a bobble on the side there which shouldn't be there but that's not too bad um, so let's go on to the sculpt with the rest of it we've got the arms that go down it's like cloak on his jacket they're sculpted nicely also same on the other side uh, he's got his gloves sculpted on too which are nice then he's got this little scarf bit here um, which nice and loose so it won't get in the way of any of the posing which is good underneath that we have a belt sculpted and the strap which is supposed to hold the sword that's where the sword goes you see and they've done it nicely that it goes on both sides so when you put this into position it does actually look like it's being held on because it goes round the sheath as well so top marks there anything on the back uh, just shows you both his straps going round the back uh, any sculpt work on the bottom we do have a ridge along the bottom of his cloak onto his feet let's see if we can get in here uh, his feet are just sculpted as boots really uh, nothing special about them but still it's a nice touch that they've done it and the texture inside the legs is nice also so if we get onto paint the paintwork on the head, like I say, is very nice. It's all nice and neat, no bleeding. So that's good. It's pretty much moulded in just one grey colour. They maybe could have done with a little bit of a brush again, but the figure still looks very nice the way that it is. Um, and because the ridges are so deep, it does bring out the texture anyway. And it is also textured. It's not just a plain material. It is look, made to look like a material, which is nice. And then the paint on 
his belt and his buckle is done very nice and also on his sword strap there that's done well too and then back to the boots again they are painted painted well no bleeding even for the bits that you can't see so good effort there if we go on to articulation then the head you can obviously see you're not going to get much out of that due to his beard but I mean you can get enough left and right out of the head um, and no up and down but that's just due to the sculpt with his long hair and with his beard so then if we come to the arms it is a ball hinge which is nice so we get a good up if you turn that round you can get all the way up uh, out to the side obviously all the way and then down to the elbow it is a ball hinge again just a single joint but you do get your 90 degrees out of that one which is good and out to the side so you get all your swivel on it also and then down to the hands uh, no articula articulation in the hands other than it being just a ball peg exactly the same on this side of the arm so that's good but you can get a good range of motion out of it for how well it's sculpted um, which is good for the arms comes to the waist and he does just have a cut joint so he can swivel left and right all, all the way round which is good and like I say these bits of his scarf don't really get in the way when you're moving him which is good At the legs here comes a bit of a problem that you can obviously see can't get the legs out really at all there they're just stuck inside um, but that's okay it's part of the figure there's not much more I could expect I'd glad that they did this in the rubber and didn't do it in a material because it just wouldn't have looked right with the figure but the figure does have ball jointed legs inside um, and he also has a ball hinge for the knee which is good so I mean if you could get into it then you could bend it no articulation in the foot but because you can't see the feet anyway if you just spin that ball hinge there then it can make it look like you've got your swivel in your foot so that's the figure. So there he is, Gandalf the Great from The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey in the 118th scale. Definitely a nice figure. I like it very much for the price. Cannot complain at all. Uh, they didn't sell very well, I don't think, these figures, but it might be worth picking them up because if the third film comes out and it's really popular, they might not make so many of these figures due to it not being so popular the first time round. So if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, a Hobbit fan or a Gandalf the Grey fan or just like nice figure that could go on your shelf, I definitely recommend this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for more Raw Pain reviews.